everybody welcome to muse tv we are back we got a great great artist uh who i i heard his music and you have to get his new album it just came out it's thousand summers public library commute conrad dude this album is like fire to me <laughs> that's awesome to hear man what is it what was the whole idea behind the album and uh some of the influences that you had when you're recording yeah um I think it, it started just with like a few songs, you know, I, I didn't have, I didn't go into the process like with the concept, um, at least not at the start. Um, but I started writing the songs while on tour uh, with the band Surfaces, um, Colin and Forrest, two of my good friends. So I was on tour with them and I think playing live music for the first time, it was my first time playing um, my songs for people. I was their opening act. And it just sort of like influenced this new uh, sort of like direction for me. I wanted to play music that like people could really move to and, and music that showed off, you know, my guitar playing and more of my voice. So it like sort of shifted um, the music I was making. And then uh, sort of like that's how the project started. And then halfway through, um, I started thinking about moving from my hometown in New Jersey out to LA um, to really like do the music thing. So it sort of ended up being like this ode to my hometown, sort of like a tribute to the summers I spent um, in New Jersey growing up, you know, like by the lake. Um, I live in like a suburban town. So yeah. that's those were sort of like the feelings. Yeah, because that's the one thing like I hear automatically when I was playing it I was like dude this is like stuff this is your album is like that song that you put into your car you're driving down to the beach and just relaxing and chilling yeah <laughs> and that's the type of sound I'm getting being a California boy that oh yeah get that nice California like beach sound uh-huh and it's, it's just something awesome and what were some of your influences into your music because I could hear a lot out of what you've put into there but let the people know who are some of yours? Yeah. Um, the, the one that I always list is King Cruel, if mm -hmm. you're familiar with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the reason is I, I started out making like hip hop beats. I was a big Kanye fan, um, big fan of this guy, Felly, too. Um, so I started out just like making beats. And then King Cruel kind of showed me. I played guitar like separately, but mm -hmm. King Cruel was sort of the the artist that let me realize I could use guitar within what I was doing with the, the hip hop production. Um, and then from there, it just sort of like kept evolving. Um, so like Kanye at first, but then King Cruel. And then, um, you know, I, in college, I was definitely like a Frank Ocean, big Frank Ocean guy. And um, these days it's a lot of John Mayer. Mm -hmm. um, so my, my girlfriend put me onto John Mayer. I'd never really listened to him before. Uh, this year actually but now I'm having my John Mayer phase and so yeah it's just sort of like a mix of all those things and then also like I work with a lot of a lot of friends on music um, so some of my friends like really inspire my sound um, Healy is one and then Surface is another um, so yeah it's it's sort of a mix of a lot of things and you know what's cool about your sound is that it's really gonna reach out to a lot of people and a bunch of different age groups because I hear like back like 70s jazz, mm -hmm. 80s jazz, like Michael Frank's type of sound into it. I hear, yeah. I hear a lot of different sounds in there. And I'm just like some John Mayer in there. I do hear that influence there. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, dude, man, this is just like, you know, you have something special when you could get like it literally when you hear it and it just attracts your ears and you're just like, damn, this is some good. Yeah, I, have to I say, really appreciate shit. that. <laughs> it's like it's like i was just blown away when i heard um 25 miles per hour which was just yeah dude, man that's just something about it what was the idea and the concept between that song that it's sort of a funny song um i i found that sample and just like immediately was like this sounds like a movie um but i you know being from my hometown there's there are a lot of 25 mile per hour roads it's like a really sleepy suburban town and i'm like always running late to things um and 
So it's about that frustration of like needing to get somewhere, but you're, you can only go like 25 miles per hour or you'll get like pulled over or whatever. Um, so it's just sort of a like, sort of a goofy frustration that I chose to write a song about. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, definitely like melodramatic. Yeah. And <laughs> but that's like definitely my favorite production on, on the EP. That one or Moonlight, those two are like especially captivating, I think. Like for me, my favorite is Summertime. Yeah. I love the sound on it. It's just, it has just a nice beat to it. It has, it just, perfect it's just to me it's just that's the type of car the car driving song that mm -hmm. i would want to hear in my vehicle when i'm driving yeah that's awesome and that's why i say uh, like you have some good like it just the imp, the way you put it together is just something it's different and i think that's mm -hmm. what's going to shine now is that you're you are different you have a different sound different artist which i think it's going to really appeal to a large mass audience yeah that's um, so awesome here thank you yeah, and so what's next for this? What's the what's the journey of pop? Because I know under these COVID times, it's been really difficult to like be able to like present an out present these songs into the live mm -hmm. and get, hear what the live feedback is. Uh, what is yeah. what's coming up, and what do you have working on? I'm working on a lot. I I like you know I'm I'm working on music every day. Um, and so I, I have a lot of songs that I'm like trying to figure out which one I want to put out next and, you know, whether I want to do another EP or a, an album or um, just release singles. We're sort of like trying to figure that out right now, um, but the music is definitely there and I like, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on it. Um, and then, yeah, I, I can't wait to play shows. That's like that tour that I did in 2019, 2020, that was like the first time playing music for people. And since then I haven't been able to do it. And I just like really miss it. And also the new music is like, I feel like gonna be super fun to play. Like yeah. that, that opening guitar riff in Moonlight, I've been itching to play that like with a band forever, um, like since I wrote it. So, so uh, yeah, hopefully. Scheduled? Anything like locked down yet? Um, not, not really. I'm kind of like letting it, letting it flow. Um, but I mean, it's, that's not to say like, I'm not, you know, really busy working on stuff. Definitely like trying to put together a music video, um, next week and, you know, we'll have music, new music for the summer without a doubt. So, um, just whether it'll be singles or an album, I don't know yet, but, um, Something like, I think seeing you live is going to be what really is just I can only imagine if you got what you got on your EP right now, what a live show is going to be like. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> okay. You got, you're going to, you're going to have me buying your albums for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that is so cool, man. So cool. Yeah. It, it's just like, there's very few artists that I interview and I've interviewed so many different bands, but mm -hmm. there's very few who really just like, once you hear it once, you're just like, dude, this is, you got something yeah yeah and that's what i hear in your album your ep you got something yeah and you just got to keep working on it and get those shows out get people to listen and because i think once they listen you're selling them you got them you got yeah them. yeah <laughs> that so, is it's like really inspiring to hear like i it makes me want to like i don't know and you know and i'm 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 46 years old so i'm already towards getting into that halfway point yeah <laughs> and it's like dude, this is the halfway point. and it's like dude this is like it makes me happy to hear like those type of sounds in your record mm -hmm. because you got a bunch of different time eight different generations of music and different styles of music in your ep was yeah. that anything that was that something like maybe your parents or something in other influences because the jazz influence and the and that beach sound is there and i could hear that of course was that ever an influence of growing up or? It's, I actually, I did forget to mention it when we were talking about influences earlier. Um, I went through a big phase, like a, a several month period where I was flying a lot from Jersey to LA. Mm -hmm. And there's this like, um, there's this 60s playlist on Spotify mm -hmm. that I, I like fell asleep to on every flight. Um, it's like one of my favorite just like moods to sit in. Um, and I love old jazz music. Gilberto is a huge influence for me. Julie London, 
huge influence for me. Um, so those, those sounds, you know, my parents definitely listened to good music growing up. Uh, my dad was a singer. My mom played piano growing up. Um, so I was always around it, but I definitely like, I'm just kind of like a, I definitely am like a little bit of a jazz head. Um, that's the mu music I put on to relax. Yeah. Um, the music I put on when I like want to listen to music, but can't listen to like music in the world of things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, so jazz still has that sort of like escapist mm -hmm. appeal to me. Um, so yeah, those, those old sounds I, I do like, I keep them in my ears pretty regularly. Um, love 60s soul, Motown, um, and jazz. Uh, you, well, like I say, man, you, you got something here. I see a bright future for you. I, I, I'm hoping that once we get up and we're able to go back to the studio, I want to invite you to come in so we could talk oh, yeah. more about your album and have a couple performances. I think uh, this, your sound is something that really was like enjoyable to me. And I, and I can't mm -hmm. talk about this album, this EP enough because it's, it's that good. But yeah. How can people find you? How can people follow your music and what you're going to be up to in the upcoming months? Um, yeah. So Instagram, at Public Library Commute, um, YouTube, same thing, Public Library Commute on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, um, every streaming service, it's Public Library Commute. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be, you know, like got a lot of things in the works, so there will be things to, to keep up with um, very shortly. And yeah, Thousand Summers is like two weeks old now, so definitely go, go listen to that if you haven't heard it. Um, and exactly man hey yep. thank you so much for being a part of this and being coming on to muse tv uh really appreciate it and don't forget a thousand summers is out now pick it up you're i'm telling you you're not going to be disappointed this is one of those albums that are is going to really put put you on the <laughs> you're going to be put on the map and this is uh, the one that yep. a lot of people are going to be wanting <laughs> to pick up so pick it up now pick it up before the summer starts because this is going to mm -hmm. be your summer album guaranteed absolutely <laughs> hey thank you so much man really appreciate Dude. it and we'll see you soon here on muse tv yeah thank you so much